Hello YouTube, Retro Green here again with another recap. Today is March 15th, 2022. Ugh, exhausting day, exhausting day. By the way guys, if you like those recaps, I continue doing them every day. Please hit thumbs up and please subscribe. And I'm trying to get myself together and do a weekly and monthly recap. So maybe uh, I kind of started doing it and then I just taper down <laughs> if that's the word but anyway here's my PL coming up dollar 45 for today guys dollar 45 about maybe two or three hours worth of trading exhausting exhausting um not red so that's a positive note i was red for majority of the day like down three bucks or something and then i took a trade or two and it, it was a roll, roller coaster day it was definitely a roller coaster day I'm not going to go over everything, but I am going to uh, go over some, maybe like three stocks. So FUTU, uh, that's one of the stocks that pissed me off today. And it pissed me off really bad because, so I'm going to tell you what happened. Um, I took a trade. So first of all, I missed this whole pop. and. I started taking a trade in this uh, on this one minute chart here. If you notice, I, I was taking a trade for the bounce. I took a trade at 2480 80 for the bounce and then it kind of didn't do it. And then it broke and then it, and it actually went down to uh, 2471, touched the VWAP. It was perfect opportunity for the dip buy. Now, hence I 2020, right? Um, now, Look at this trade, that break of one minute here at 24, uh, 2486. So I got in, my average was around 87 to maybe 88 here. Um, and then what happened is it, it started to hover. It was kind of like going up and down and it kind of micro flashed like three cents, which is nothing for this stock. Now I'm looking at it and I just sold again at a loss. So I kept losing money. I kept losing like eight, nine dollars with every trade, and that's why I'm down fifty bucks on it. But that's not the the worst thing, right? The worst thing is I was I was fishing for this turnaround spot, this curl, right, and break of that high of ninety five into the twenty five, and I spent like forty dollars maybe or forty five dollars fishing for that spot, and I didn't trade it, and I didn't trade it as soon as it happened. Not only that, it, it happened, it continued to break the 25, it went into the 26, right? It went into the 26, it got to 26.5, and then it got to 27.4. So that's what upsetting is, I was, I was right in this area, and I didn't capitalize on it, I didn't scalp this area correctly. And it's just, it, you know, after spending $50 here fishing, and then wasting my time on it, I just kind of gave up and I didn't trust the stock anymore, which I should have. See, it would have gave me a good good uh, capital and good return, right, on uh, on my trades, hopefully, potentially, I don't know. But anyway, that's F-U-T-U, you know, F-U-F-U-T-U. -U -U. And then S-B-F-M, S-B-F-M, okay? It popped and I was actually hoping it's going to continue into that area of uh, 470 break of five so I got in and I got in around maybe I start I started like getting in around 380 390 and then it, that thing just continued to flush and I was heavy at first and then I was only trading uh, 75 shares or something and still the flashes here were like 10 15 cents and I was keep giving away money on it so unfortunately I didn't capitalize on that second pull pull up you know to to test the highs and and you know the break of VWAP was nice I was looking at it but it never continued it was a false breakout here of the high of uh, 421 into that 430 and I just gave up too on it so but again 50 bucks and we had uh, KVL that's another one I wanted to talk about KVL we actually had pre-market and KVL I traded I traded extensively I added here uh, in a break and that was that was good that was a decent trade and that's I made that money right away within like first 15 minutes or 10 minutes when my market open so I feel like and I was up at some point I was up 80 bucks 
I was up 80 bucks and I was giving it all back with the SBFM and FUTU. And it was just unfortunate. It was really unfortunate because I made my 80 bucks on AGRI and uh, KVL. And then I gave it all back. So, and that's the second time in a row. My, yesterday was exactly the same thing. I made most of my money. I was up almost a hundred dollars almost. And then like first 15 minutes of the market open. And then I just gave it all back. And then I have to crawl myself up again to a hundred. Well, today there were no opportunities to give me that crawl again. I, I, I didn't. I barely scraped that $7 that brought me over a zero, over that negative, right? So that's why I'm actually positive $1.45 today. So the market is dead. The market is indecisive. Everything is just all over the place. I don't know. I don't know how, uh, how you guys did. Let me know how you guys did because today was definitely a dead day for me. It's uh, all over the place. And I know some people shared some PL and short short sellers are doing pretty well this past month uh well maybe this year i don't know um we had some people scalp but kind of more of a imbalances area so they were up but overall man shoo it's a tough day for me i barely made it i made it out break even so glad to be even i'm not gonna go over the rest of the stock they're just kind of there you know uh, it's the same concept well, anyway, guys, let me know in comments how you did, what you traded, uh, how, how you like the, the days like this, and, you know, what should we do to continue? Should we just even trade first hour maybe and that's it and be done with it? You know, go on with our day and do something else, more fun. But anyway, guys, hopefully you did well. I'll talk to you tomorrow.